This problem throws a lot of numbers at us, but fortunately it's conceptually pretty simple. Part A asks for the average velocity of the car between these two points in time, and we're given the car's positions and speeds at both of those times. So for the average velocity, remember that average velocity has a formula of the change in distance between the two points divided by the change in time between those two points. So that would be the final position minus the initial position divided by the final time minus the initial time. So from so between 3 seconds and 20 seconds, it says that at the point where we have 3 seconds, at 3 seconds we have x equals 25 meters. So the initial position is 25 meters, and at t equals 20 seconds, the final time, we have a position at x equals 385 meters. So the final position is 385 meters. So again, we subtract the final position from the initial. So that's 385 meters minus 25 meters divided by the change in time. So we go from 3 seconds to 20 seconds. So that's 20 seconds minus 3 seconds. If you put this into a calculator, then we find 21.2 meters per second. So 21.2 meters per second is the average velocity. Now part B asks for the average acceleration. Now average acceleration has a very similar formula. It is equal to the change in velocity divided by the change in time. So now we're only looking at the initial and final velocities. And we can see from the way the problem is written that at the final time, at t equals 20 seconds, the speed is 45 meters per second. So 45 meters per second minus the initial speed, which is given as 11 meters per second. 11 divided by the exact same time interval. Put that into a calculator, and we find 2 meters per second squared. So that is the average acceleration. And that is it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this. If you have a comment or question, leave a comment down below, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.